In the process of finishing up uh, another repair on my Peloton Tread Plus, and this time it turned out to be a bad uh, PCB board in the speed control knob. Uh, I'm gonna run through kind of how I figured out it was the problem, how to test for it, and how I could have saved myself a lot of time if I had this video ahead of time. So hopefully if you run into the same problem, you'll be able to troubleshoot it a lot faster than I was able to. So it started with an error that said the um, tread deck can't communicate with the screen or something along those lines. This can also be the cause of firmware updates that get stuck at 52%. Basically the way that it works is you have a computer in the deck of the tread as well as this display here, which is like a giant Android tablet. And there is something called a smart card that interfaces between them and it's located on the back side. Uh, it's very easily accessible by just popping the plastic pieces off the back. You start with the, uh, the cap at the top, you pop that straight out, and then you remove the back piece. Uh, for this project or any kind of troubleshooting, um, voltmeter or multimeter is an indispensable tool. I'll have a link in the description where you can order them on Amazon. They're fairly inexpensive. I find myself using it all the time. Uh, it's a must have. So a real quick overview of how the smart card works because when you, when you have a communication breakdown between the two components, that's the, the logical place to start. Um, I'll walk you through that. So this is uh, what it looks like from the back. It's got, a plastic, it's got a plastic cover on it. This is what it looks like once you remove the plastic cover. Um, you'll see there's quite a few plugs on the back. I'm going to walk you through what each of these are because if you know what they are, you can troubleshoot from this point without taking it apart any further. So this top one in the middle is the cable that goes to the back of the Android display. This big one right here is the one that runs up um, through the arm of the machine from the base. This one along with this one. So this one only has two wires. This is the power. This is like the communication cable between the smart card and the base. And then you have three more plugs uh, along the bottom in addition to that power one that I just mentioned. So there, is, there are one on each end, uh, smaller ones. These are the speed knob and the incline knob. And then there's this one in the middle. This is coming from the safety key stop and free run button. So knowing what those are, you can actually unplug them from the smart card and do a couple of quick tests. They're actually glued uh, in there somewhat, so you kind of have to be careful and pick the glue back and then pull them off. Uh, my particular problem was not the smart card. I swapped that out first thinking maybe that was it and that did not fix it. It was the speed control knob itself, and I could have determined this if I had known that it was one of these two. Take it off and then test for continuity between the uh, between the posts. So let me show you real quick. This, for example, um, this one is the, the incline knob, but you can see basically you've got these little uh, pins here. The outermost ones are power and ground. So I don't know which one is which, and it doesn't really matter. You can use a sewing needle and stick a sewing needle in each one and then use your voltmeter to test for continuity you should see uh, resistance, not, um, not continuity between them. And I will demonstrate that. This is the actual PCB board that I took out of the speed knob. Like I said, you don't have to do this. Uh, if you have access to the back of the smart card, you can do this from the plug itself. Like I said, the outermost uh, pins are ground and 12 volt. So basically you turn your um, voltmeter to test for continuity so that if there's no resistance, you get a chime. <clears throat> and then you just check the outermost pins. So you put a lead on each one. You can see there's continuity. So basically it's just short. Uh, and when I was using the machine, it actually, it shut off when I, when I pulled back the speed and then it started throwing that error. And it's because for one reason or another, this, uh, this board shorted out um, caused the machine to shut down some kind of uh, proactive protective measure, I would assume. And then when it started up subsequently with the short, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't turning on the smart card or, or doing something else to protect itself uh, due to the short, and that's why it didn't work. However, if you have a 
a good one. Uh, like, so I disassembled the machine, you know, took the knobs apart because I took the incline knob off to do the same test because I, I wasn't sure that a short was necessarily uh, abnormal for this part. So I wanted to test it with a known good part. Uh, so what you should see when you put it on the pins is no continuity uh, between the outermost pins. And if you don't see continuity between those, that's a good sign. That means it's probably not your uh, your PCB board on the speed controller, the incline knob. If you do find that you need to remove one of the knobs, uh, you basically pop the knob straight off. I used like an automotive trim tool. I can link in the description. Uh, from there, there's like a little uh, joystick switch thing that you have to take out. Be careful. There is a like little diffuser here for the LED lights. Don't lose that. Then you remove these four screws. Uh, the whole thing pulls straight out. Looks like this on the back. There's also a rubber O-ring that goes around. Don't uh, don't lose that. Take out these four screws and then uh, you can remove the PCB board and replace it. It's fairly simple. So long story short, if you have a communi communication error between uh, essentially your tablet and the base, it probably has something to do with the smart card or a component that's connected to the smart card. Um, the really the easiest thing to do would be to incline the tread if you're able to incline it. Unfortunately, I wasn't because the whole unit was disabled. Um, lift it by the back and roll it out. Unfortunately, because where I had this placed up against the wall, I had to basically disassemble everything to get to, to get easy access to start testing things. I tested all the cables. Um, they were all fine. So visually look at the cables and the connections. If something's unplugged or damaged, obviously that's going to be the source of the problem. In my case, all the cables were fine, all the plugs were fine. Uh, it turned out that one of the one of the knobs had shorted out and was causing the error. It wasn't the smart card, but you can test for that uh, from the connections of the smart card itself. Uh, specifically, I would look at the speed control and the incline knobs, test the outermost post for continuity. Um, if there's no resistance at all, it means there's a short and that's likely the cause of your problem. You can order this part from Peloton, just the PCB board, for about $20, uh, or get an entirely new knob for about $40. I would say fairly reasonable uh, prices for the parts. So hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments, and uh, good luck. So as I was putting the tread back together, I got an email from somebody who was getting an error related to the safety key. I'd say the safety key was removed and to put it back, even though the safety key was in place, it seems to be a pretty common problem. And because I had the tread apart, I did some quick troubleshooting. Uh, the center plug on the bottom of the smart card that I told you about is the one that comes from the uh, stop button, free button, and safety key assembly. So I took my multimeter and I started testing the leads from that plug with and without the key installed to see if there was a way to determine uh, if it was if it was bad, what I found is, and I believe it's the green and purple wire to the plug along the top, uh, they're right next to each other, are the ones related to the safety key. So when the key is in place, you should see um, resistance across that circuit. So with the key in place, you'll see that it is a closed circuit with resistance. However, when you remove the key. Uh, it breaks all continuity, so it's a completely open circuit with infinite resistance. And then when you replace the key, you should see some continuity again. I, I included a couple of screenshots. Hopefully this helps. Um, I didn't have the problem myself, so I wasn't able to, to verify how to fix it. Um, but I believe this would be an easy test to do to determine if, if the key mechanism is functioning correctly.